If you haven't heard, Sky Reels is out, and it's more than just a video generator. It's actually a suite of tools, and in this video, we're going to talk about Sky Reels Editor. Once you sign in to Sky Reels, go down to Tools. Click on Tools, and here they are. And as you can see, there are a lot of tools for you to consider. We're going to Video Editor, and there it is. So what can we do with Video Editor? Now, you can certainly upload your own videos and work with this editor. It's a very simple, easy to use editor based on my experience. I've only used it a couple times in preparation for this video, and I'm going to use videos that I already have within this system to keep it simple. So to bring videos in, you go to Import, and again, you can upload your own video, or you can go to My Assets, which is what I'm going to do. And as you can see here, I have a number of assets from previous examples. I'm going to pull this one in, this one, and let's see. Oh, I'm going to expand it. Let's see. I had a couple ideas, but I'm going to go with these ones right here. So there are four. Click Confirm. And here we are. So now I want to add this. And I want to expand it. So I'm going to go across, open it up. This one. So you can just drag and drop, which is real easy. And let's see what this one is. All right, so I want to switch these around. I'm going to move this one over. Okay. So we have our basic little story here. So maybe we want to shorten this. Then a person smiling. I was considering maybe a crazy video at the end, but maybe the person smiling would be more appropriate. So that'll be our story. We have person walking, but maybe a little bit shorter. So as you can see, you can just drag it, make that a little longer. So we'll have about a 13 second clip here for our brief little story. And then how, what else can we do to kind of show examples? So we have transitions and subtitles, filters, uh, effects. We have audio. And of course, we can pull in still images if we wish. Let's go to Transitions to start. And as you can see, there are a number of different types of transitions. Nice selection. Filters. Effects. Let's use these effects. I like these effects. Here are a number of effects, blurring effects. Zoom in and out effects. Good to see. No, good number of transition, uh, well, not transition, but effects that we can use to play with if it's appropriate. It's not always appropriate to have these effects, but I think maybe in this one it would be. So what we do, is we just click the plus side there and make it equal and let's see what happens there you go that's a nice introduction that adds a little something to it then maybe a you could do a close but maybe not 
I did a close the, uh, for the other one because then it went to a really stark scenario. Let's explore what these are. So here's set as main track. You can do that. Show or not show. Sound or no sound. And then if you want to automatically fill the gap, meaning let's say we pulled this over here. If we clicked on this, it'll just automatically pull back, which is very convenient. And I often have this left on for any type of video editing software that I use, especially when it's real easy to move things around. If you need to undo right here, if you need to cut, go over the area you wish to cut and click on cut. You can also use command K. I'm going to go back. Uh, if you need to crop, move in closer. To delete or backspace, balance the volume. Show audio waves. These ones are worth investigating later. I'm not as familiar, so I don't want to do a poor job explaining them. But if you know what they are, put it in the comments below. Let the community know, especially if you've used these types of tools in the past. I may have, but it's limited, and quite honestly, some of them I'm not even sure about. Next, let's go to audio and import. One thing that I highly recommend is that you save because I have multiple times during this project hit a back button like this button up here and found myself in a situation where I had to start all over. So click on save and let's find some music. You can upload your own by importing or if you have your own assets or you can use public materials. So let's do Epic. Dramatic, let's see. Oh, let's just see how this works. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Now we have volume right here. We can speed up, which might work out pretty well here. So speed that or fade in duration and out. So we sped this up so the music may go a little fast. <laughs> that doesn't really work. I kind of wanted something that would just kind of melt into it. Well, maybe I'm not finding something so good. Maybe something more dramatic. Let's pull in my materials, videos. Let's add this one. It'd be a lot easier to just make it like a, then bam, something crazy. There we go. Who really knows what the story is? I kind of want that in a little quicker, so. Oops. Get rid of that. Transition. Kind of a fade. Oh yeah, we could put this one on. to close it out. Okay, so this is our little story. For better or worse. I mean, who knows? Again, the point being is there's storytelling involved here, 
and this is an easy editor to use. And that's the point of this. It was really easy to, to navigate through, to figure out if you've used editors in the past. Well, that's going to be a little bit of an advantage for you because you know what you're looking for, what to expect, and you know what is easy and what is not. It's always helpful to know what the quick keys are and you can just go right up here, click, and you will see where all of the short keys are, which makes editing, especially editing, a lot easier. So get to know the editor, especially if you need a quick editor for a project, something maybe you've created within Skyreels. Skyreels does have a lot, I'm gonna save it, does, does have a lot of tools available to you, including creating your own AI sound effects. Obviously, I had trouble finding the right sound effects. Well, I could create my own by using this tool. These are other tools that maybe we'll go through in future videos. Let me know what tool you would like me to take a look at next in Sky Reels, and certainly let me know if you're enjoying using Sky Reels, I know a lot of people have gravitated over to this platform to play because it is rather intuitive and easy to use. Hey, if you want to learn more about AI and what's going on, definitely check out the Creative AI Show every Monday where we are two creative guys talking AI.